I go to reading for the lovely star sign of Aquarius. Aquarius. Hello, my lovely Aquarians. How are we all doing? Let's grab the book of answers then straight away and let's have a look what's coming out for your overall energies this week. What have we got for Aquarius? Related issues may surface. Okay, so something might be coming back to surface related issues okay it might be something that you've dealt with before and you remind you sort of remind yourself i've been here before this is what we did in this situation it's that kind of an energy okay it might be related to something that you've already dealt with or um somebody else around you where you can sort of give them advice so however that resonates guys let's just get a card a couple of cards to go with that We've got these two here. So we have magic prayer and home. The magic prayer energy is of a sort of wishing energy here. Praying for an outcome. Okay. And it's something to do with those in your home environment your nearest and dearest, closest to you. It's something you've got no idea of what the outcome is going to be, but it will have a significant impact to your home environment. And it's interesting, it's coming out with Magic Prayer. I mentioned, I think it was in Libra's reading, so I am going to mention it in yours. People don't understand really the ethics of uh, prayer. It, there, there was... Um, something I was watching recently, and I will put the link in your description as well, um, a brilliant channel. And the ethos of this, you know, from where this young man came from originally at 19. I won't go into it because I, I will put the link in. He's worth a watch and he's worth a listen. His channel is very, very informative. And basically he said, people get prayer wrong. And we've all done it. We all sit there praying to God. Oh, please, God, can you help us out in this situation? Please, God, can you send me this? And we, the science behind that is all wrong, okay? Instead of asking, pleading, we have to sense it, feel it, as though it's already happened. And he tells a wonderful story, a true story, um, on this link, and I will drop it below for you, of how he's manifested things in his life and when you learn the art of real prayer it can open up the right doors and manifestations for you so it's well worth a watch okay honestly well worth a watch so i will drop that and that's your homework from me this week but yeah there's something that you are trying to deal with at the moment but it's going to have a big impact on what the um, outcome will be on your work home environment okay let's just have a look what else is coming out for you then Aquarius some of you are up against the time limit on something as well whether you've got to finish a project uh, but I'll just say there's a time limit uh, element on something for Aquarius this week if it's not you directly don't forget it can be somebody around you we have the Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful energy coming in here. And this is to do with finances. So whatever it is you are trying to manifest, whatever you are waiting to hear on, it's going to benefit your home work environment and it's also going to boost up your incomes as well, which is lovely to hear. So let's have a look what your inner psyche is feeling this week. What have we got for Aquarius with their inner, inner psyche, please, spirit? And we have justice. So you are waiting on an outcome, as I said. Waiting for some important information to come to you. And your inner spirit is sensing this, okay? It's got this sort of saying... You are positive that the outcome is going to be in your favour. It is going to be a positive outcome. There's justice here. 
going to be served to you by the powers of the universe. Some of you could be worrying over something, waiting on legalities for justice on something as well. So in the back of your mind, there's just this thing going on. I need this result. I need to know where I'm going on from this situation. So that's why the justice has parked itself in your spirit this week. Okay, your deep inner soul is thinking there should be justice on this. Okay, there should be the outcome. I should get the outcome I need or that person needs around me. Let's just see what the universe wants to add on for you then, Aquarius. And it's the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands comes out in the shadow side in this deck. There's a light side and a shadow side. And the Queen of Wands is coming out in the shadow because this is your uneasiness. This is your being unsettled around your home environment or work environment at the moment, okay? Because there's some justice, some um, outcome that is required and that is troubling you. So let's have a look what else is coming out for you. I'm just going to grab my oracle deck for you. Please have another card for Aquarius. It's like you're left in the dark about something at the minute. Okay. But then we have the beautiful card of celebration. Okay. <laughs> celebration. So there is going to be a victory here. Whatever it is that's on your mind, whatever's the worry, whatever you're thinking, I need this to happen because it's going to be a better result and it will impact on my lifestyle and my home environment in general, my work environment, whatever that may be. But there's a celebration, okay? Something to celebrate. So let's just get your quote from the movie book of answers now. Elsie's coming out for Aquarius. Sometimes being bad feels pretty good, okay? And it's John Bender, The Breakfast Club, okay? So it's the character John Bender at the film The Breakfast Club. Sometimes being bad feels pretty good. So take that as it resonates, guys, okay? Sometimes that is the case when we do things that we shouldn't do, we feel good about it. And I do feel because of the celebration card, there is going to be some good news coming out for you. So... Let's get your animal spirit cards. And we have beautiful energy, which is the water sign of the swan, coming out with, wow, the alchemical sign of air and it's nightingale. That's that news coming in. Want to sing it off the rooftops, okay? It'll change your world, this positive um, information. You are this swan at the moment, trying not to get anything to ruffle your feathers but obviously the reflection underneath we cannot see and it's always like the legs paddling one you know ten to the dozen and there's something affecting you emotionally trying to keep it all together but just know that this is the outcome the news that brings in this celebration okay I don't know where that song comes from but yeah it should be celebration times. Come on. Da, 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 da. I'm crap at songs, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Anyway, so good news. Positive. Let's have a look what your guides, angels and spirits <laughs> want to bring in then, okay? Celebration. Let's have a look what spirit want to bring in. And we have caregiver. We are with you and spirit has its own way of recognising the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. And it's the final sentence in that card, really, neglecting your own needs. There's teamwork here as well. There's more than one 
person that has helped or will help get to this outcome and result that you have been waiting on. But basically it's saying to make sure you look after yourself in this process because it can be draining or it has been draining for you, okay? Let's just grab, grab the fairy realm cards and see what we've got coming out in that for you. Also, the caregiver can be that. Some of you could have been giving your attention or this is more to be a prediction where someone may, may fall poorly, where you've got to sort of get the care in place for somebody as well, okay? But I feel on this instance, it's about caregiving as a team effort in getting a result. The fairies that come in is home sweet home, okay? So this, whatever this is going on around you, it's impacting or will impact your home life, okay? And the home sweet home fairy is saying, she's got a smile on her face there, there's contentment, feeling settled in whatever this decision, this outcome is going to come through this week. Just gonna grab the last book for you and just see what the message finishes off out of the literary book. Where are we going for Aquarius? So I'm gonna go straight to the start near the front that would be thy loss okay Rudyard Kipling at the jungle book as in I want to say those words are that's their loss because I felt in this reading there were some legalities and you were waiting for justice on something and it's like we won the victory we can celebrate it's their loss okay so however that fits in for some of you. So my lovely Aquarians, don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs because sometimes there's more information in those than in your sun sign reading here. Any likes, comments, guys, just keep pushing the analytics um, for me as you are aware. So until next time, you take care. Bye then.